Grade 8 Math, number 12.1a, Proving the Pythagorean Theorem. Pythagoras was a Greek mathematician who lived around 532 BC, and he found that two right triangles could be put together to make a square. From this, he came up with the Pythagorean Theorem, and that says the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Now, if you don't know what this Pythagorean Theorem is, you can watch my Intro to Geometry number 19 or Intro to Algebra number 107 videos, okay? I'll explain the whole thing. So, a right triangle has these parts. It's got a leg and a leg, and we can see the right angle symbol right here. And the long side is the hypotenuse. We could prove the Pythagorean theorem and use it to solve problems. We can use the formulas for the area of squares and triangles to prove the theorem. We can use the theorem to find the missing lengths of sides of right triangles and solve real life problems. So, do you remember what the area of a square is? You take one side and another side and you multiply them to each other and that gives you the area. So if this side is two units and this side is two units, then the area is two times two, it's four units. See, we multiply this side this times this side. So we're gonna draw a right triangle on a piece of paper and we're gonna cut it out and make one leg shorter than the other, just like this drawing up here. We're gonna make one leg shorter than the other. This one's short, this one's long. So I've got my little piece right here that I cut out. I'm gonna trace this triangle onto another piece of paper four times. You could even cut four of these out if you want and arrange them into a square with each hypotenuse, this long side C, facing inward. You can see the short side's A, and the long leg is B, and the hypotenuse is C. See it? We got A, B, and C, all right? So what we do is we take these, or one, or four, however many you want to do. We put one here, and one here, and if you watch, it's actually doing a rotation, okay? So it's right here, and we're going to rotate it clockwise here, then we're going to rotate it clockwise again here, and then we're going to rotate it clockwise again here. And all the C sides, all the hypotenuse are facing inward, and you can see what happened. It made a square, didn't it? See that? And to find the area of this, it would be C times C. It would be this time side times this side, C squared. We've labeled the shorter leg A, the longer leg B, and the hypotenuse C, and the center makes a shape that's a square, and it has the area C squared. Now we can do this again for legs A and B. Let me put my little guy back here. A is the shorter leg, and B is the long leg, okay? So what we do is, we can lay our little triangle shapes and make a square like this. And after making one rectangle here and turning it and making another rectangle here with four of those triangles, we can take a side of B, get my little piece here, see B right here? We can actually extend this, see how it's made a rectangle? We can extend it down like this with a side of B and put it down here with a side of B to finish off this side of the square. And we can take this little short side of A and we can draw it here and here, all right? And what ends up happening is we have A times A, that's A squared, and that's the area of this square shape. There's two A sides, and there's two B sides, this one and this one, and that makes B squared. So now we've taken up the area of these two. Well, these four are C squared, see? The total of these two areas are A squared plus B squared, okay? The brown square shape right here actually fits right on top of this one, see? It's the same size, see that? And we've got our shapes, we've got our C squared, and we could take each one of these little triangles, we've got one, two, three, four triangles, and we could lay them here, one, two, three, four. And all of these C sides, one side, another C side, another C side, another C side, the four hypotenuse, well, there's a hypotenuse here and a hypotenuse here, a hypotenuse here and a hypotenuse here. See that?
So we've actually proved. The brown square shape for C squared fits right on top of our drawing over here. And the remaining four squares are the same area as the C squared, see? So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We proved the Pythagorean theorem is true. Just take these little pieces and fit them like this. And you'll see that the two A's together with the two B's together with two C's together, A squared plus B squared plus C squared, will actually be able to make a bigger square. See? Isn't that weird how that worked? All right, we're going to continue on and we're going to talk about using the Pythagorean theorem in 12.1b. And like I said, if you don't know that much about this and you want to know more about the Pythagorean theorem, you can watch these two videos. I've put them into this eighth grade playlist, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.